How's it going guys? Me and David here for another shave. And today, for a little bit of a change of pace, usually I'm highlighting some kind of new soap or aftershave that's coming. Today I'm actually going to highlight something a little different. I'm actually going to highlight a brush. For those of you guys that haven't been paying attention, or just to remind those of you that do pay attention, I am now working at uh, Old Town Shaving Company in Old Town Pasadena. And we just got in a fresh batch. <clears throat> well, not even just got in. It's been a couple weeks now, but relatively fresh. A fresh batch of Shave Mac brushes in various colors and shapes and so on and so forth. We got two different types of knots. We have a two-band silver tip, which um, is going to be a nice... In terms of even distribu distribution of backbone and flow through, supposed to uh, develop gel tips and all that good stuff. The other one is the D013 band, which is a super dense knot, stiffly packed, crazy, crazy density on that one. Today, I'm going to be using the Shave Mac 2 band silver tip. I really wanted to try this one because it really reminds me of my favorite, uh, not the Thater two band. So really excited when this came in. This one I am borrowing from, as usual, Zach. He's obsessed with brushes, absolutely obsessed with brushes, like you have no idea. So he had, to, he just felt it necessary to purchase both, which is great because that means I get to try it. So it's gonna be my first go around with this knot. So I'm gonna to try to make sure to load as heavy as I can. I gotta give not only, well, and I'm gonna be using sterling. Um, being that sterling is a tallow based soap, I have a tendency with my hard water having to load heavy anyways with uh, with tallow based soaps. But this is my first time ever using this knot. So I don't know how it really handles. I'm not familiar with the performance and with, with all things, I try to give it the best possible chance to succeed. So I'm gonna go ahead and load heavy. Man, so once again, this was a little bit of a rough week. Uh, earlier this week, uh, last week, I told you about a delay in my videos because I had gotten like the, uh, gotten a cold. Felt pretty crappy. Well, this week I had gotten in uh, the Phoenix DOC Evolution, which is the stainless steel version of their double open comb. Well. Since it's supposed to be a very aggressive razor, similar to that, uh, similar to uh, like an R41. Well, at least that's what Scott Austin told me. I haven't used it yet, so I really didn't know. Well, we're doing a, they're doing a pass around with the with the evolution, and since it's an aggressive razor, I decided to let my hair grow out. See, that's a good about four or five days worth of growth. I know it's not much. I know, I know, but um, so I wanted to test it with as much hair as I possibly could. I was going to do the the video Sunday morning before I went to work. Well, sure enough, something had to happen again. Saturday night when I got home from work, we ate from this place called Tacos del Negro. That's right here in local to my house. Eaten it a thousand times before. Well, both me and Rocio ate Tacos del Labio, which is lips, cow lips to be exact. And we have eaten this countless times before. We were the only ones in the house to eat the cow lip ones. And we got food poisoning of some sorts. I don't know if there's different classifications of it. I know people that have gotten food poisoning and stayed sick for days and days and days. Well, ours lasted a good solid 24 hours. But please forgive the crudeness, but I had it coming out of both ends. Um, ate the tacos at about 7 right when I got home from work and by 2 in the morning I was up and like I said had it coming out of both hands and then um, hers hit hers a little bit later her about 8.30 that's when she started getting messed up and yeah so you just know that just kind of snowballed with both of us sick you know, usually if one of us is sick, it's okay because the other one kind of kind of watch out for them. We were both down and out. Pretty much stayed in bed all day long. Just right now, I ate my first meal since that. So this is Monday at about 5 o'clock. I ate my very first meal. So you're talking about almost 48 hours without eating. So you're generally speaking pretty, pretty worn out. 
Okay. Initial impressions of this brush so far. Yes, the backbone is very, very similar to that of the Thater 2 band, which, again, is my favorite knot. So, it's definitely a good sign. Load this thing heavy as shit, though. So, I know I'm going to have to really get some water worked in here, which is not a problem anyways. My face hasn't gotten any love in a few days trying to prepare for that Phoenix double open comb. So. And then so we're not eating all day and then just generally being worn out from not being able to sleep. Waking up every couple hours to either throw up or, you know, um, I'm just kind of beat. So I was even debating doing this video, but I just hate having these long lulls on, on the channel. So... I definitely wanted to get on here and I'll showcase this brush. I was really excited about using this brush. It's going to be another thing. Performance is nice so far. Yeah. This is in the jade handle. Um, Zach had to be greedy and actually purchase. Oh, let me straighten this out. Sorry if it was a little crooked to start off. I don't have the most sophisticated mount here. Forgive me. Um... That got to be extremely greedy and he purchased two brushes in the Jade. Pretty much all the Jade handles sold out really, really quick. It's a beautiful, beautiful resin. Very consistent too. Often when I see people do these types of resins, you see a lot of, um, a lot of variation. This is a very, very consistent resin. So that was kind of nice. Very, this has a tad bit, just a bit of scritch, which is supposed to, after it's uh, broken a little bit, that should disappear. Um, it's not enough to be offensive to me, though. It's, it's, it's more of a scrub as opposed to a scritch. That's a little bit more. More of a scrubbing as opposed to a scritch, which is supposed to disappear and is supposed to develop the gel tips. Whether it does or not, I don't really care. I'm not one of those people that needs the gel tips. Um, I'm not so strict on my guidelines with brushes. Some people need that scrubby, super backbone Manchurian st style knot. Some people need those has to be gel tips. Oh, I need to find me a gel. No, nah, not me. If it has good flow through, nice solid backbone. Not crazy, but I'm, I'm in the medium. I like a good mixture of backbone and flow through without it being super dense. Just not necessary for me. So, gonna go with the first pass. Got the Philharmonic Sub Zero here. You really hear this blade sing. It is a full hollow, possibly even one of those extra hollow. You know, I'm not 100% sure where that cutoff is. But you hear a lot of singing from the blade. Combine, with the, combine that with the fact that I have a lot of hair going on right now. Well, at least for me, I should say. Oh, um, you know, it's getting there. It's nice. With the development of my age, which is no secret, we all get older. I'm getting a little older. Um, the hairs are starting to get a little bit thicker in certain spots, which I find interesting. Not that it's a surprise that I'm getting older or my hair is getting thicker, but I do find it interesting that I'm able to tell the spots where it's getting thicker. And I guess just because of the hobby that we're, we're in, you pay more attention to that where most people won't give a damn when your hair is getting thicker. But yeah, I'm noticing the areas. So it's kind of cool. Hey, those are uh, good news for those of you guys that aren't aware of uh, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Sun Up, or Sundown, I should say, 
is now available, which again, I highly recommend it. Awesome stuff. So very nice first pass again had a lot of hair so that was smooth as can be and the edge on that filler Monica is perfect. Okay. Gonna lather it for the second pass. And one misconception that I heard a lot about when I was, uh, well, at least I believe it's a misconception. A lot of people would say that badger brushes didn't require a break-in period. I couldn't disagree with that more. A lot of brushes that I've used, I've noticed, now, let me preface it with saying that it is no way as long as the break-in for say like a bore, which a bore could probably be upwards of 40 shaves, uh, 40 uses before you really notice the, that break-in where it just hits its sweet spot. No, but I'm talking about very common for me. At about the dozen shaves on a, on a brush, I start seeing that change and it really starts getting rolling after that. And some people believe it more, like Zach, who I, I borrowed this brush from. And if you guys were watching previously the, the Declarations Brushwork, he feels that a lot of actor brushes really don't hit their stride until about that 40 plus. Do I feel that it needs that much? No, but like he feels that it really, it, it really gets into a good flow with his brushes when it hits that that. 40 plus range and well, that's fine everybody has their own preferences and own opinions on things but I think that just kind of shows that yeah badgers do need a chance to break in and really settle into what they're going to be I'll tell you there's something special about the against the grain passes with this razor just buttery smooth And I was really bummed out that I got sick when I did. I don't know if I don't know how much I've talked about, it, but I'm in a bowling league, and I'm not great. This is my first bowling league I've ever been in. I've actually, before I got into this bowling league, I've probably only bowled like 20 games in my whole entire life. And a lot of these guys in these bowling leagues are bowling 20 damn games a week. So that kind of tells you where I started at. But with that being said, I've been getting progressively better every week. And on this league, you could do like little side bets. And one side bet is if you'll, the, you'll beat your average all three games you play on league night. Well, I entered it for the first time last week. And I beat, and I actually won. And I beat my average all three games. So I was going to get prize money. A little bit of prize. I don't even know how much that is. It depends on how many people beat their average all three games. So I was super excited. I was pumped up. I, I think it was going to be like my third week in a row where my average would go up because I'm beating my average significantly every week. So I'm excited about it. And no, I was sick, so I didn't even get to, to revel in my in my greatness. So that was a bit of a bummer, but hey, it happens. One of the guys that I'm that I bowl with, he's going to be. I'm going to set him up with a with a starter kit. Sometime soon. I'm talking a lot, it's kind of taking my time, so I'll go ahead and re-wet the lather. I don't, think, I don't know if it was 100% necessary, but it didn't hurt. Starting could take a good amount of water anyways. But one of the guys that I bowl with, Demetrius. Demetrius, if you're watching, hello. I'm going to set him up with a starter kit. And he's kind of cool. He watches the, the, my videos, so thanks, bro, for the support. I guess this will be a true test if you're really watching my videos, though, if you actually notice the shout-out, bro. So we'll, we'll see. No, but he definitely needs it. So I'm happy to set him up. And thanks to Frank, and I don't know how to say your last name, Frank. Gieb, G-E-I-B. 
I think that's just about yeah. Thanks to him, he he sent me some really cool stuff for starter kit. So I'd already given out one starter kit with his stuff, and I'm about to give another one this weekend to Demetrius with Frank's stuff. So really excited about that. Like it genuinely brings me joy giving out starter kits. And will it stick with everybody? I don't know. But stick with a few, man. It, it helps keeping our hobby alive and the tradition. Not even so much the, the 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 hobby aspect of it. So what if they don't pick it up as a hobby? But if it can help keep that tradition alive, then maybe some of these young men will have their kids do it. Hey, that's that's really how we survive. Cause we got to make sure that we don't just have a hobby as market for, but we got we need to have some practical people out there too. Because something that I discovered with talking about it to people is sometimes the hobbyists can actually be a turnoff uh, for new shavers that just want to actually shave to to shave to to do wet shaving as just a I mean to an end you know and it even makes some people believe including my best friend that simple bastard trying to convince him not. But as if like you have to have a lot of facial hair in order to to do this. So so again, we need that nice balance of people that are hobbyists and people that are just shaving to because they need to shave. Doesn't mean they can't enjoy it still, but they don't need to be obsessed like a lot of us are. So third and final pass. So as you can see, the soap performs great and the brush handled well you know I did load heavy as hell but you know it's good to know that with this brush still being pretty fresh only a few weeks old and I don't even think it has its dozen shades well probably not even because I know Zach will do some practice uh, lathers with it some simulated lathers like on his hand but we won't actually use it now does that does it give it as much use as it does on your face I don't know but you know, some real life tri trials, I think does everybody some good. All in all though, for the first use on this brush, I'm really pleased with the with the performance. I do hope that some of that scrubbiness does go away these, the, before, you know, before I don't have it no more. Um, again, it's not an offensive scrubbiness, but I prefer a little bit more softness in general, which I think that's why it still will fall behind my fader. And even the, the Shave Revolution Manchurian, the Shave Revolution Manchurian has more backbone, no scratch at all. I don't mind a touch more backbone, not necessary, but I don't mind it. And that one just is completely soft, just plush. So we'll see how this one develops in that sense. You in here now, honey? Yeah. Yeah. Say hi to the folks. You haven't said hello in a while. Hi, everyone. <laughs> wow, you sound delightful. <laughs> I'm very tired. I've had a lot of sleep. I know. I told. I, I've just finished explaining to them our predicament this weekend. Yeah. Stuff was coming out of uh, both sides there. Yep. So yeah, I'm quite tired right now. Yeah, so it's been a draining last couple of days. So I'm sure tonight I'm gonna knock out like a baby. I am happy that I didn't need too many days for my stomach to recover. Though know, I didn't eat all day today, really, um, until dinner time. It's handled really well. I'm a couple hours after eating. And I'm going strong, so I don't feel no, no grossness.
And sorry that this video is so long, guys. I don't know. I just got into a good flow of talking. I'm excited about the brush. And just happy to be back doing the video. And then happy to shave in general. Because, again, I put off shaving for so many days. So I wanted to test out that shape, that evolution. Oh, and I don't even know why I, I didn't, I don't even remember if I explained why or not. I'm not using the evolution now. Well, Douglas had asked me to make sure that uh, Zach gets to try it. Reason being, Zach loves super aggressive razors. His go-to razor is the Mula R41. Now, it's not a daily driver because he doesn't shave daily. He shaves maybe once a week. So he doesn't shave very often, but when he does, he likes to use an aggressive razor. So he wanted to make sure that Zach got a hold of it. So I didn't know how long it was going to take me uh, to use it. See, I didn't know how long I was going to take to recover. So when AJ went to work on Sunday, I had him take, I had, uh, him take the razor to, to Zach to make sure that he... It at least gets used this week. Again, I'm happy that I recovered as fast as I did, though. I'll tell you that much. Damn, that was a hell of a shave. I'm like ridiculously smooth right now. That's awesome. Also, just so you guys know, just see somebody asked. That was Sterling Soap Company Executive Man. I didn't feel like having a real uh, strong smelling aftershave after this shave today. So I'm actually going to go with Porasso Green. Still one of my, my favorite uh, aftershaves of all time. I love the stuff. You'd be surprised how much you sell of, of this stuff at, at the shave shop. You know, it's a very well-known brand. And because I love that stuff so much, it's easy to sell something you enjoy. So that's what I do. I sell that stuff because it's awesome. Again, the star of the party. Shave Mac. Two band silver tip. Yeah, yeah. That's not focusing very well, does it? There you go. That's good enough. Two band silver tip in the jade handle. It did, it did a hell of a job. I'm going to be using that probably exclusively for the next week or so. And hopefully I'll get in at least one more video. I'll probably do some of those simulated lathers that Zach does to make sure to get some more uh, work into it. And hopefully it softens up a little bit more. Because again, I do feel that scrub. Is it an offensive scrub? No, but I'd rather it be that. Again, I don't even need it to be gel tip. Just so it could just be nice, plush, soft. The flow through was great. The way that it produced lather was fantastic. So I'm happy with the general performance. Now it's just a little bit of dialing in that face feel and hopefully it's good. Thank you guys for joining me. And make sure if you liked what you said, you know, like, share, subscribe. Oh, thank you. I just got to 1,500 subscribers. So I appreciate you guys on that one. So continue to spread the word if you do enjoy again. Um, I really appreciate y'all. So I'll talk to you guys next time.